Hold it. <clears throat> In this video, I'll review the LM2596 DC to DC adjustable step down converter on how to adjust and step down the voltage and show what happened when the input voltage has changed. This is the second video that I'm doing on the converter. This is the little gadget. It has a 259 chip. If you want to know what the other components are about, you should watch some other videos where they would explain it much better than I am. In the first video I did, I showed a 12 volt power supply and the adjustment of that what happened in this video I will use this this is a 19 volt output computer power supply Yeah, 19 volts output. So I will be putting 19 volts here, and this is the this is the input, this is the output, and I should get 18 or 17 something on this side. This is an adjustable port. You use this to adjust the voltage they say it's rated for three amps but i doubt very much that it would be able to support three amps this a tiny unit it's and shouldn't be used for constant current for instance if you if you're testing something it's fine but if you have to be using it for about i would say roughly five minutes this little chip here would get very very hot and automatically your your voltage would start decreasing there are times it might even freeze so if you're working on a project and you need test voltage i would advise to use this but if you're looking for something that you need to use constantly, that's not the best bet. Now I purchased some heat sinks. These are the heat sinks you're putting it on this right here that's to help because once it's about it depends on the voltage you put an in and what you pour in on the other side this would get hot the heat sink would help it which it would prolong it but it won't help it a hundred percent so i would advise you use this only to test objects this is the glue it's a thermal paste glue to put the heat sink on this i won't be putting the heat sink on that but i will just show you all the 19 volts in and uh, what I'll be getting out of it. I made up some leads. 
that I would use for this project. This goes into the, that's the wrong lead. This here is the right lead. This goes into the power source. I also have some a little meter. That's the input side. This is the plus, this is the minus. And <clears throat> one thing, this little gadget should only be used if you have a fixed voltage. There is another one which has free wires. The free wires would go down to um, 1.5, 1.2. This one, once it hit 4 volts, it cuts off it won't go no lower than three to four volts so if you have a fixed voltage like 19 volts 12 volts 5 volts you could use this but if you need something to go lower then you would get the the free wire one on the other side, I'm going to use my meter. Although I do have the other tester there. This is the output side. Let me <clears throat> see that if I can. Uh, setting up anything takes uh, some time. This is one side, this is the other side. Okay, I think I have everything in view now. <clears throat> so, putting on the power. As you can see, we have 19.5 volts here. The blue light is on. We have 18.7.
<clears throat> on the other side. There is no way you would put 19 volts in one side and get 19 volts out the other side. This is a step down transformer, so you would always lose something. Now, if you're looking for a certain voltage, this knob here, you would turn it now because of what it is. My hand would be in the way. As you can see, the voltage is uh, dropping now. But the input side would stay fixed. The voltage won't drop on the input side. But the output side, while adjusting, it will go down. I'll take it as low as it can go. They have a special screwdriver for these um, ports. That's it, 1.2. And it starts getting warm, but I can touch it. So it's not that hot because I'm not using the current on the, the voltage on the other side. It's just going through the, the meter. So, turning the, the little screw on the port the other way, And the voltage would be going back up. So if you have something to test and you need a certain voltage, you can use that, set it to the voltage you want and test your item. Remember they said it's rated for 3 amp max. I doubt very much you'd get free arms out of it. So if you're testing something that's above the free arms, it might just shut off. What you've seen on the multipurpose meter is the output voltage. So if you have a computer power supply and you're looking for a certain voltage, you can use this buck converter. There has another one similar to that 
it's both a step down and step up converter this one is only a step down which means once it reach close to the voltage that's showing here even though you turn it it will not increase That's it, 18.7 volts. I didn't show <coughs> the other meter I have because if you're just looking for something, everybody has a multipurpose meter. You don't need one of these. You could put your multipurpose meter on this side just to test the input voltage and have your meter on the other side, the output side, to select the right voltage you need for it. <clears throat> but since I have a good bit of these meters, I use the meter here, but you don't really need a meter on the other side. I just use it to show you all the input voltage what is going into the hair and on the output side what is coming out from here now i don't have anything to test that with up to 18 volts i could put a car bulb on it but i wouldn't want to go over and burn the bulb and remember, if you're using it to draw current, put a heat sink here. If you do not have these heat sinks and you have some old computer or something laying around, you can cut a heat sink. For instance, if you have, this is from a computer. I was doing some experiment. I cut this one and you could use and put it here. This is another one. So you don't have to go and buy that to put here because I ordered this from Amazon and I had to wait a good time <clears throat> before I got it but I did if you notice this one cut also cutting them off and putting them on different things just to pull on I have the glue I have the thermal piece and I have the thermal tape so it's up to you to choose which one you want everything I use or I show in the video I'll be putting in the description below if you purchase from me I'll get a small commission at no extra cost to you if you enjoyed this video please like subscribe and click on the bell icon until the next one thank you